Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video this will probably be one of the most boring videos uh, that I hope to have ever created and it's because it's very very simple and I hope that it uh, is simple to you. Uh, hopefully we can just keep this very short. It's practically a cube uh, but this is the body for the Lego character so let's go ahead and make it uh, I thought about throwing in some other parts of the character, but I figure this is probably uh, good. So, just make a new file, go into the front view, go uh, right click and hit Shade Smooth. Uh, it'll fix some things a little bit later. Uh, go into Add Modifier, go to sub Subdivide it, and we're going to go into Tab, Edit Mode, Control R, and divide it in the middle. Uh, and go Z wireframe, select these and delete them. Uh, essentially we're getting rid of half of it so that if we move these it will move it over here so we need to add a mirror and it will do that. Now when we move these it will move this over here. Uh, on a Lego guy it's slightly sloped so this is going to be the basic outline of our Lego character right here. Uh, now Let's go into the side view and we can see it's way too wide. I'm going to hit A to select all and hit S and then lock it to the Y axis uh, and drag it into about the width of a Lego character. Hit 1 again and now I'm going to start uh, loop cutting a ton of times. So hit Control R and if you place your cursor along this edge it'll make this yellow line. Click and drag it up and click it again and drag it down. So I'm just control R clicking, dragging. Uh, and I'm going to do that for this side as well. Looking pretty good other than uh, this is too rounded here so let's do it on this as well. And that's looking pretty good. I think that is pretty much our tutorial for today. Uh, you can keep playing with these to get your proportions just right the way you want it. Uh, just make sure you're in the wireframe mode and you can keep dragging things around. Uh, if you want to move things after you placed it, just hit Alt to click on the loop cut that you created and hit G once and then G again. Oh, one other thing, one I just barely noticed. You'll want to turn off clip or you'll want to turn on clipping so that when you move things around uh, it stays connected here in the middle. That's what the mirror does with the clipping. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope that you got something out of it uh, other than just creating a cube and we'll see you next time on Blender Know How. Uh, stay tuned for more of the Lego characters as they are going to get a little more complicated now.